Hello guys and girls, this is Rilant Hoja. I'm sure you have never got the chance to hear my name and you have misspelled it many times. <laughs> um, today I'll be talking about a small trick on Lightroom and uh, I hope it helps you with your images. Uh, the trick I want to talk about is uh, the spot removal tool which is located right over here and uh, it helps you out remove the dust spots created by your sensor in some three easy clicks I remove the main ones the big ones that you could see with your, your own eye but there is more like over here and here so to be able to see them in the best possible way Lightroom has this visualize spots which helps you out to check all of the rest spots that, that are not visible on the image itself yes I know I should clean my sensor <laughs> uh, it depends to what certain amount do you wanna clean them if you want to go all the way and remove all of them you have to drag this slider up to till the end and let's start removing one by one I usually do this before I start any editing on my pictures in order so I have a clean image and I don't want to see them later as any of the details come come more to life after the editing. Pretty much this is all I would do to these are very tiny ones which will never be visible but still let's remove them. and I need to clean my sensor as soon as possible so basically with all those simple clicks we cleaned up our image this is a shot from the Palm Jumeirah in Dubai in a very interesting sunrise now we can start and edit our image with the basic things that we usually do First of all, I like the, the glow, maybe I would want to enhance it a bit more and add some more color, but because of the haze and all the different sand dunes that were going on over those days in Dubai, I also would like to add some contrast and saturate a bit the, the, the Burj Arab, which is my main and most important part in this composition by reducing a bit the highlights I take out the lights that comes from over here and here with the blacks because basically the line the seashore and the Burj and the Jumeirah hotel are the darkest part of the image by clicking alt and bringing down the blacks I will be able to to get more details or just maybe print that's a bit way too much and saturate a bit the also by pumping up the con the clarity it will help out to bring the details Some other things that I usually do is remove the chromatic aberration. There is none over here, but still, it's always good to do it before you open these files into Photoshop. The lens correction removes any distortion from the image, so it's always recommended. 
it's a bit crooked so by selecting the auto mode from Lightroom it helps you out to straighten it even better if you do full it's basically the same I tend usually to pump up a bit the sharpening and add a little noise reduction just in case let's remove a bit the contrast and the blacks because I think it's way too black and dark let's play with the lights slider I want to bump it up a bit and the darks to remove maybe I want to, to add some filter over here by pressing the shift key you do the line straightly it's a straight line it doesn't flip if you press shift it's gonna be straight let's try and make it a bit more dramatic maybe cool cool it down a bit not that much but still no I don't like it let's go back I think it's pretty much when I want it to be. So basically that's the base expo exposure and we have three more exposure which I might blend even though I don't think so because all of my details and my blacks are perfectly fine. So, if, if for example you want to apply the same settings to many, many photos which are like this, you select the, all three of them by pressing shift and clicking on the last one and press the one that you were editing so far, sync settings, you select them all so the same effects happens to all of them and you see by syncing Photoshop and Lightroom should be able to remove all the dust spots at the same time. You will just see it now and the same effect applies to all of the images. The same things that we did to this one is done to this one and to the rest. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed and hope this helps.